Okay, got the yo-yo set up. And I got it set up for 10 meters, so each side is roughly 8.21, mm, roughly, like I said. And it's just using those old fiberglass military tent poles, surplus. Then we got it, um, one of the ham fests. And it's just a couple of lightweight tent poles. We used for the electric fence. I had some extras. That's how we put it up, just tied up to the pole. Okay, hope you can see here. Now there is no power supply in between here because we're running straight from the battery. So I'm just, and most of my radios have power poles on them, but I do not have power poles on these, so we just have bare wires. But I have the terminal posts on my solar generator, which the solar generator is really nothing more than uh, a battery inside a box with a charge controller and stuff, but we're not worried about the charge controller or any of that other stuff. We're just really running directly off the battery using those external posts right there. Okay, so black wire hooked up to the negative, red wire hooked up to the positive. I do have two 10 amp fuses. I think they're 10 amp fuses. Um, one for each one. So just in case those will blow and they won't damage the radio. So that's a very important part. Okay, I realized for some reason I'm not getting power to my tuner, so let me check my setup in the back for that. Okay, yep, that's what it was. It just uh, didn't have the cable all the way in in the back yet. So let's tune it. And it is tuned, so there we go. When we key up, we should not get... Excellent. Perfect standing wave ratio. Um, let me see how much power I'm putting out here. And I'm putting out 20 watts. Let's take it down to 10 and see if we can get anything on that. We can always go up. And I was picking up one side of a conversation. Let's see. It's not very clear, so... Okay. And I might just wait till later this evening, see what I pick up. But that's the basic setup. We'll see what we can get. Okay, QSL, Al, this is Al. Okay. Texas 4530, QSL. Must be a contest. Okay, so again, close up look. Just greater terminal post, so if it wasn't inside of a box, if it was just Plain radio, same th um, plain battery, the same thing, okay? So it's not any difference. This just happens to have a charge controller in it because I also run lights and some other stuff off of it. I use it to power my um, analyzer and stuff. But um, just like I said, would still be exactly the same. So um, it is always good to have inline fuses though. That way, you know, if something does go, you always have your fuses that'll blow and cut the power to your. Um, to your radio. You won't get damage to your radio. Okay, so got the tuner on there too. And with the yo-yo, you should don't need it. If I use the analyzer, I just didn't want to mess with the analyzer and I always have the tuner in there, so you know how it goes. Sounds like some 
people are kind of crossing here. Tending to 10 meters. Got the yo-yo out front. Hooked up to the solar battery. The solar generator. Usually, after the Tuesday net, um, they do a, a kind of a 10 meter net after our 2 meter net on, um, on Tuesday nights. Sometimes on Mondays, you'll hear those same guys talking. So, I don't know, I might be able to pick them up, might not. Depends on what they're doing. So, I'm just going to see what I can hear and if I can make a good t contact I'll give it a try. Check the power here. Yep, we're fully charged so we're good to go. I tried to make contact with someone back at home base and uh, no luck. Couldn't make the contact. I was uh, put out 50 watts. I could take it up to 100, but I don't know. I really don't want to drain the battery either, but I might give it a try. Okay, so they're wanting to try um, 10 meter 28335 on AM, so that's what we're going to do. Bumped it up to 75 watts. Don't know if that'll make a difference. 